Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up Facebook Business Manager. It's going to be a quick video just showing you, uh, telling you what it is, showing you how to get in there and just set up the basic stuff. And then I'll be doing a lot more videos in this series on Facebook Business Manager um, about how to do a lot of specific things because there's just so much to talk about and doing one video on it would bore the crap out of you because it'll bore the crap out of me. <laughs> so uh, if you don't know what this is off the bat, um, Facebook Business Manager is pretty much the hub spot for anything and everything, business, promotions, advertising for your Facebook and Instagram accounts. Um, if you're doing paid promotions right off of Instagram posts or right off of Facebook posts, you're doing it wrong, you're wasting your money, and please stop. Let, let me show you how to do it properly. Um, you'll save money. It's a little more complicated. That's why a lot of people hire ad agencies like me, but you can do it yourself. So I'm going to try and show you how to do it yourself. And let's get started. So first of all, we're not going to do that. You're going to go to business.facebook.com. Uh, you can read some of this information here. I'm sure it helps. Uh, you're going to log into your personal Facebook account. And it's all totally free. Don't worry. Uh, we're going to come here. It's going to bring you to your business manager. So it's going to tell you to make your business name, um, add your info, whatever. Mine, obviously, is Palacis Media. Uh, and then you're going to have a blank account. So this stuff isn't going to be here. Uh, and then this shows you like the linked pages that I have, the ad accounts that I currently have, and whatnot. Um, so pretty much what I meant by I'm going to make more videos. There's a ton of stuff to go through. And each of these, I'm not going to go through all of these because I don't even use half of these. But I'm going to go through the significant ones like pixels, um, how to create an ad, obviously, uh, a bunch of stuff. But for now, I'm just going to literally take you into the menu or into the settings, sorry, and just kind of help you get started off the bat. So if you're working with somebody else and you want to stay on the same ad account, if you go up here to users and then you just select people, you'll see I'm the only person on this account. I have admin access and then I have access to all these pages. So if you're working with somebody else on the same ad account, you can give them employee access, admin access, whatever, enter their email, bing, bing, boom. If you're working with somebody else that already has a Facebook business manager account, then you can do that too. Add them as a partner. Uh, if you don't want them to be in your personal account and then you want to only give them certain permissions to certain pages and whatnot. Uh, so next, assuming you already have a business page, because um, I think you can make one without a business manager account. You just can't really. No, maybe you can't. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, to be honest. So let's say you don't have a page. <laughs> what you're going to want to do, let's say you just started up a new restaurant. I don't know, something. You're going to want to go here. And you're going to want to create a new page and then you choose what kind you add all your info and then you can actually go edit it within facebook business manager so you can see i have access to these pages um and then this is where you can also so you can add people um, i'm the only person here but if i had more people that i had added up here you'll be able to add them in here and then give them whatever access you please so let's quickly just go i thought i had this up but i don't so this is my business page for Palacis Media. And you see, if I go um, if I go to my actual Facebook, and then I just type in, and I'll just show you. <laughs> oh, I love Facebook sometimes. Uh, okay. So if you see, I go here. Um, it recognizes me because I gave myself personal access to this page, um, but I can't edit it as myself. I can post as me, but I can't edit it as myself. It'll, I'll have to go to Business Manager to edit, which is this page here. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. <clears throat> so just so you're aware, that's how it works. Uh, you can edit everything. I'm not going to go through how to edit a page because well, I'll just let you figure that out. And if you do need help, comment below. You know, if enough people comment, or even if one of you comments, I'll make a video on how to edit your business page. But for now, that's enough. So we'll go back here. So anyways, just so you know, that's how you create a page, add a page. And then uh, again, you can add people, whoever you add up here, give yourself access, no problemo. Uh, next, you're going to want to create an ad account. Um, off the bat, you can only create a couple, I think, just because... I don't know why. Honestly, I don't think anybody knows why. Facebook limits you to like two, I think, off the bat, something like that. I think I only have a limit of five right now, but until you spend thousands of dollars into their system, they don't let you 
uh, that was bad grammar, but you know what I mean. They don't let you make more ad accounts. So pretty much what an ad account is, this is what hosts your ad campaigns. Um, and within and one ad account, so say this empty account here, which obviously means I have nothing in it, I can do multiple campaigns totally unrelated. They won't affect each other. The only thing that is consistent within one ad account is um, who it's owned by, the ID number, obviously, um, the permissions that you allow, and the payment. So you can have a different payment setting for each ad account that you have. So let's say um, this ad account I made just for a specific client because I want them to pay with their visa on this ad account. So I can add their visa to this ad account. But then if I start adding my own stuff to this ad account, I'm paying for my own stuff on their visa, which obviously <laughs> you can't do. So then I'd have to create another ad account to work on my stuff. So I'll get into that more in the actually creating an ad video. But just so you know, one ad account um, you can do multiple campaigns, but it'll be the same payment type. Um, and you can only have so many ad accounts in the beginning. Um, honestly, that's kind of it. I just wanted to show you kind of how to get started, how to get in here, um, give you an idea of the layout. Like I've said in other videos, when you get into a new program or software, just, you know, go through this, go through this. Well, I don't know why I clicked it again. It's going to bring me back here. Go through the settings. Just kind of look at everything, see what everything is, get an idea. Um, they actually have, if you go down here to setup guide. They have a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, fa FAQ, facts. I don't know how you pronounce that. I've never actually said it out loud. But a lot of stuff that'll help you kind of figure what's what's what. Um, you can always comment on my videos, ask me questions. I'm happy to help. I've probably learned it the hard way, so I'm happy to help you the easy way. Uh, that's why I'm making these videos. So for the most part, you don't have to learn the hard way. Um, that's why I kind of throw things in there, here and there, that I've discovered over <laughs> over time so that you don't have to make the same mistakes or have to wait the same amount of time that I did to figure certain things out. Also, speaking of which, quick tip, when you go here to help, um, when you start off and you press contact us, let me show you, I think it should pop up. You're only gonna be able to send them, e I think you can send them emails, but you can go into like the community. Is it gonna, somewhere here. Anyways, when you go somewhere here, you can go into like the community and uh, see what they said. But for me, because I spent so much money on here, I can actually chat directly with them, which is so useful. So just so you know, this is a thing that you can do after you've spent money on them, of course, because why wouldn't it be that way? So guys and gals, that's pretty much it for now. Um, my next video, I'm going to be talking about, like I said, going to specifics about how to create an ad, how to create a pixel, how to integrate that pixel into your ClickFunnels page or or other uh, maybe WordPress or Wix or whatnot. Um, how to create an audience, custom audience, uh, custom conversions, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to go too much in depth with this one and I'm going to stop rambling. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh! Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.